In November 2016, health authorities in Comoros Islands announced they were on the verge of eradicating malaria. Now, almost five months later, officials say the three islands that make up Comoros are free of malaria. As a government, we adopted a national strategy to fight malaria in cooperation with the government of China and other partners. The key was a treatment called Atequake, a combination drug therapy derived from a Chinese plant, Atemicinin, and an anti-malarial called Piperiquin. And while malaria parasites have developed widespread resistance to most anti-malaria drugs, the company behind Atequake says it is different. It is a fact in time resistance could be developed, but our medicine is the best currently to prevent that from happening because it only takes 25 days to cure malaria in the body. After a decade-old anti-malaria campaign in Comoros, the parasite is but a distant memory. Experts are now hoping to replicate the same success in other African countries using the same programs. At a China-Africa symposium in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, malaria experts are discussing the elimination of malaria through source eradication. We will share our experience with African countries and promote the cooperation and coordination with African governments with aims to help the African people get rid of malaria and realize the goal of eliminating the disease. Already, several countries, including Kenya, have been selected to pilot the scheme. Uh, in other countries, China has also made good efforts in tackling malaria. The experience in Kamara is a good example and a great success. The lessons which have been learned through the implementation of the collaboration and program which we are going to have with the um, uh, China, as it has happened in other countries of Comoros and uh, Malawi, will help us to enhance the use of this drug towards eradication of malaria. Technical teams will work on proposals and pilot studies before it's rolled out countrywide in Kenya. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.